Welcome to the 67th annual Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. Give yourselves a hand. When the students come, they are representing their state or their country, and they've already gone through a series of competitions to get to the level of ISEF. As they walk into the exhibit hall, they realize that this is the science fair of science fairs. We're talking about the World Series here. We have 1,759 projects from 77 countries. What I did is I created a redesigned modular oil rig that actually harnesses ocean currents to create electricity. There are over 27,000 abandoned oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico alone. 27,000 of these units could be enough to power the U.S. or maybe even the entire Northern America. It will work with almost every country that has exposure to the ocean or any uh, massive flowing waters, like even rivers. Or you can even put this in a drain and it'll still work. 40 to 65 years of age, that's what the population we were looking at. There is a significant difference between the autistic brain and the brain of a typically developing individual. So we hope that the knowledge that we gain here will help them to live more independent lifestyles if we understand how their brain works. This is a 3D version of all of our data. And what we found is that these are some regions where the autistic group activated more than the controls. And since the hippocampus relates to memory most of the time, this could possibly possibly be why autistic individuals struggle with their memory. So I think we truly love what we do and we really believe it can make a difference. What's important about what they did is how are you going to change people's lives by the kind of research that you've done? With this project I'm doing, I can identify the chemicals we breathe in our everyday life. What's, how is it harming our body? What is it doing to it? And how we can actually better our air, because air quality in Michigan, as opposed to here in Arizona, there's a really big difference. I got serious about studying science about 10th grade when I started taking chemistry, because I understand like it wasn't just going to be a blow off class. I had to actually study, and I just kind of fell in love with it after that. Everything that he's doing is making us proud and show the Detroit public school kids are they doing things too. Like you can call me a nerd. I don't see nothing wrong with being a nerd. Nerd is a great thing. So, yeah, I consider myself a nerd. May I have your attention, please? Finalists, you must be at your project by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. today to recognize the grand award winners of Intel ISIF 2016. 